Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video in the series of games between 1500 and 2100 strategy lessons and we will right now start with an example um, where the opening has gone a bit wrong for black. The bishop is on d6, the king is still in the center and we want to punish him for that. So that's your task, um, take your time up to five minutes with white here and we will continue with the solution and some other tries which did not work out that well. So the first thing um, we should check is some forcing moves and there are basically two of them. One is working well, the other one was played in the game and did not work out that well for white. So let's start with this one which is queen d4. Threatening this fork with e5 but black has a good response with queen c7. Now, if black is having time to play bishop e5, then he's fine because there will be no e5 push any longer. Also, f4 is not possible due to bishop c5. So, what white had in mind is going e5 now, luring the bishop to e5 and then pinning it and then attacking it. Winning a piece. However, this is not quite true and black has a defense here, which he also found in the game. If you want to challenge yourself, try to find this defense by black. Um, how can black save the piece or get some counterplay at least. We continue with the solution which is bishop e6. This breaks the pin and makes bishop e6 impossible because the queen is hanging. It makes, um, yeah, it cre really creates a threat of bishop takes d4. So the most logical and best is to take here and black just recaptures. Now it seems like white was successful as he is a whole piece up but black has a threat to take on c4 next so white should act with care. And actually the best white can do is giving back the piece with queen e5, queen c4 and white is a pawn down and yeah, black um, has no issues with his king, no real issues at least so black is Black is fine and white should fight for equality here. However, in the game white thought there is no problem and he can play just rook e5 because c4 is not hanging now because queen c4, the bishop is still pinned and white would be a queen up. But he missed black's rook d8 and after check king to f2 there is queen e5 when black has a huge um, and winning advantage because the queen cannot really be taken due to something like this. Probably it should still be taken as after this um, white will at least try to get the rook. When he takes the rook, black regains the piece and is a pawn up, which is a very good winning chance in this endgame, but this should be tried. Instead the game went um, bishop e6, which blunders the queen and black won quickly. So and this is not working out that well, especially because after rook e5 there is rook d8, rook d1 with a lot of counterplay and tactics favoring black. So let's have a look at the other option which is going e5 immediately. And as a general hint, in situations where you really suspect there is a tactic, you should really examine all your options carefully and not just going for queen d4 because it looks good. If there is one defense it's enough for the defender and maybe you missed the opportunity on move number one. So e5 is a stronger move and if you have come up with this that's very good but you need to take care as well. And the main question is how to pin the bishop now? Should we do it with queen e2 or with rook e1? If you have not decided this yet try to make your decision now. And the correct answer is maybe a bit surprisingly we should pin with the queen which is often not the case because um, in general black can guard with the queen and then it's not really a pin anymore. However here things are different and there is a concrete issue with going rook e1 because black will just castle anyway and after rook e5 there will be queen c7 forking the two pieces here and after queen e2 which is obviously the only move which guards both 
there will be something like d5 exploiting the un unprotected bishop on the c file. So that's why rook e1 is not that great and we should instead go queen e2. Now if d6 we play just f4 and we will win the bishop. There is no real counterplay. Um, queen b6 is maybe just a cheap trick threatening some discovered check but we can probably just move the king out of the way or even just play bishop d3 and we will win the bishop finally. So the most critical move might be queen to e7 but now we go rook e1 and black has two possible options. One of them is d6 but after f4 we win the piece as after d3 we can take here and we have king f1 which is a crucial move here. Note that we should not play bishop d3 as black could trade off the queens and still save the material. So let's see um, what should we do if they play bishop d6 here. Do you have a guess? I think in general we should try to pin the queen now um, by moving our queen away. For example, queen d1 and if bishop e5 we should be able to go f4. Now there is not this trick with queen c7 or castling away and if knight d4 then we should probably just go um, something like f3 and we win the knight. So that's it for this example. Um, when you suspect a tactic, um, take your time and try to figure out um, which move you should play by really calculating lines, looking for some opponent's ideas, some resources, um, as this can be very painful if you don't. Um, yeah, watch out for the resources and then they will be there. So hope you could learn something from this one. Enjoy the video. If so, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.